Today, we're going to try to get to as close to full tension as possible using only the drill. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so let's get started here. We'll see if it works. I guess I should say that I'm starting on the drive side first because it's less important on the, uh, the non-drive side. My theory is that I can tension up a whole wheel using only the drill and then just fine tune later with the spoke wrench. Now the idea here is to get the top of each spoke right to the nipple flat and I figure it I'm using a drill, in fact I'm using an impact driver, and that should have enough force to thread every nipple perfectly on to every spoke so that it reaches pretty close to a balanced and even tension. So we can see that, so we can, <laughs> so we can see that some of them are going on okay, and some of them are stopping a little bit short. Now, I did use shorter spokes here, so it, there might be some spoke thread showing, but there shouldn't be that much. And by the looks of it, some are getting too tight too quickly. Like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of spoke thread showing on that. And, and look at that one. That one went right to the uh, end of the. Wow! Look at all the dust. <laughs> it's not even dust. It's salt. It, I wash this wheel, they're almost impossible to, to get all the salt off once they dry up. So that's just spinning on the top of the head, and that's that's no good. And it's totally tight. And this one here, there's a little bit showing. Wow. So I know I'm not going to get full spoke thread engagement, but <laughs> it should get fairly close. So just flip this over here, start working on the disc side. Okay, let's just see where we're at here, uh, tension-wise and true-wise. <laughs> it's, it's not too bad. Now, we have to remember that the spokes are, they, they were short to begin with, so I kind of wanted some of the threads to show so that we could see how much spoke thread engagement there would be. And this one went up almost to the end of the threads. And meanwhile, this one's not moving at all. Hmm, just a little bit. And again, just a little bit, and then it starts spinning out in the nipple head. And it looks like the drive side is taking up almost all the tension. And I guess it's not going to work. We're hardly getting any spoke thread engagement here as we go on the disc side. I guess what's happening is we're not going to end up with a balanced tension at all. <laughs> so, ah, I don't know. I it It'll tighten up, but they're just not even. And it's just spinning out in there, just spinning out again. But then, now you feel that one, and there's hardly any tension on it at all, so it's kind of strange. Okay, and you look at that one, that one tightened up the whole way. I guess we're all the way around the wheel here. Let's take a look. Alright, it looks about the same as when there was no tension on the disc side. Luckily, I'm gonna have to be taking this apart anyway, but I wonder how much work would go into having to try to actually chew that out and get the, uh, the spoke tension balanced and the spokes even inside of every nipple. Hmm, well. I hope you learned something from this video. I know I did that uh, my experiment didn't work. <laughs>